I honestly did not have any interest in playing tennis after my injury when I was in the hospital. They mentioned that there was a tennis camp and my mom was like, you're going. And I remember like kicking and screaming in the car, didn't want to do it. And I got to the camp and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it's kind of been a little love affair ever since. I absolutely love tennis now. How different do you think your life would be if you hadn't gone to that camp and if you hadn't started wheelchair tennis? Getting injured at such a young age and having your legs or a lot of your mobility kind of robbed from you taken so quickly really, really makes you um, lose your sense of self. You lose your sense of independence, obviously, and tennis has really given that back to me. It's really taught me how to be self-reliant. It's taught me to work hard on my own. It teaches you a lot of life lessons, and it really gave me my sense of self back. What are you hoping people see when they watch you out there on a court? I think just the fact that people are seeing us is huge. I think um, wheelchair tennis really needs a lot more exposure so people can actually know that we exist. I'm just really thankful that we get to be um, showcased on the grounds here and have people watch. But I think what I would most like people to take home is that we are athletes one and the same as say Federer or Nadal or Serena. We work just as hard, we train the same. But there's only one difference. We can use two bounces as long as the first one is within that regulation court. Matthewson of the United States will be serving now. When she was 10 years old, she contracted a rare neurological disease. It's called transverse myelitis. It causes the immune system to attack the spinal cord. I, I always like to point out why the players are in the wheelchair, because it's just a testament to their character and the human ability to triumph over adversity. Game, set match, Mets and Ventos. You now are a role model yourself. What are you hoping, how are you hoping to inspire others? Um, I just like to inspire people, um, especially young girls, to know that even though you're disabled and life is drastically different than maybe it was before, or maybe someone was born with a disability, that you can go out there and you can take on the world. Never took no for an answer. That was always my kind of philosophy when I initially got hurt, because people would say you're not going to walk again, and people said that I wouldn't qualify for Rio, and I proved them wrong. And I think being stubborn has really helped me a lot, and I think, you know, the sky is really the limit. <laughs>